Mr. Speaker, sir, you have been pleased to say many generous things about the members of this house and to my great embarrassment about me. I should like to offer you my grateful thanks and I am sure I speak on behalf of the house also when I offer you their thanks for your kind words. It is befitting that on this occasion when this parliament stands at the edge of its own dissolution, there should be some validatory references to our past. Since you have been good enough to make a reference to the work of this parliament, I am taking the liberty of also saying a few words. We have gone through during these five years a tremendous amount of work and as you have said the speeches have covered I do not know how many millions of pages questions have also been asked and altogether a vast quantity of paper has been consumed. Yet the historian of the future will probably not pay too much attention to the number of speeches or the hours which the speeches have taken or to the number of questions but rather to the deeper things that go towards the making of a nation. Here we have sat in this parliament the sovereign authority of India responsible for the country's governance. Surely there can be no higher responsibility or greater privilege than to be a member of this sovereign body which is responsible for the fate of the vast number of human beings who live in this country. All of us, if not always, at any rate from time to time, must have felt this high sense of responsibility and destiny to which we had been called, whether we were worthy of it or not is another matter. During these five years, we have not only functioned on the edge of history but sometimes plunged into the processes of making history. We have lived here as indeed people have lived all over the world at a moment of greater change and transition, of fast upsets and revolutionary processes. Not only have we been part of that world drama, but we have had our own drama also. It would be interesting for someone to take a rather distant view of the drama of these five years and more, not being lost in the innumerable confusing details, but seeing this broad current of history.